deposit on the day that you deposit the money. So these are the types of misstatements that are identifiable by looking at, by performing a test um, over the bank reconciliation process. So as I did with uh, the revenue cycle, let's kind of take a look at what do we mean, you know, what kinds of tests are we going to perform over cash? Because cash is a balance sheet account, right? So you, normal, you expect to see cash showing up on the balance sheet. But because cash is so much a critical part of the business process, you're going to also expect to see test the controls over cash related to testing the controls for that, those business processes, such as the revenue and collection cycle and the expenditure cycle. So again, cash, very simple. We have cash coming in and we have cash going out. And we talked about the way cash is generated versus the way cash is dispersed, uh, what gives rise to disbursements. And so what you're, you're auditing these beginning balances, the, the, um, the uh, receipts, how cash is generated by looking at the revenue cycle, right? So we're just going to focus on the revenue cycle. So you're going to look at cash receipts by looking at the revenue cycle. And so we're, in testing the revenue cycle, we're going to test controls, right? We're going to test the controls over the cash receipts process related to the revenue cycle. So the beginning balance, um, beginning and ending balances are going to be tested by looking at test of controls over the revenue cycle as it pertains to cash receipts and also performing um, tests of transactions. Remember, you can perform dual purpose tests and then obviously uh, test the detailed balances. And we'll talk about those in more detail. So for the cat and then for disbursements, same thing. You're going to look at test the controls uh, related to cash disbursements as a result of, of the expenditure um, and uh, acquisition cycle and test the transactions, the types of transactions that are going to flow, um, that are going to impact cash related to that cycle and then uh, account balances. Now you can perform substantive tests and analytical procedures, but I don't know how much information that really gives you with cash, right? Because cash is very fluid, right? So I don't know how much, so you could look at it and say, you know, what was last year's balance as compared to the current year, bal um, you know, the, the, the balance for the current year. And that might give you insight. If you see that the company has a significantly larger balance in the current period um, as opposed to the last period, of course you're going to ask why. Because there are not too many things that affect cash. Either you're generating more cash or dispersing less cash. Maybe you had an influx uh, if the company uh, issued stock, right, towards the end of the year, then you would expect to see that they have a higher cash balance on hand. Right? So again, it's not, so, not, not too many analytical procedures that you're going to perform that's really going to give you a lot of insight into cash. So a lot of your information about cash is going to be largely generated.